All right, we got Coach Williams. Hey, Coach. Uh, uh, seems like the the, the three Travis Matthew hat. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I haven't seen that one. Thanks. Um, you are are you doing opening statement? You want us to just dive in? Yeah, I, if you don't mind, I, sure. I wasn't very good after TCU. I thought the energy and the spirit that we competed with from start to finish was for sure the best. Obviously, it was the first road game of the year. The energy and spirit was required. I thought our guys played with great poise relative to that. Much significantly better in our turnover rate. Only three turnovers in the second half. I thought that was huge. From a defensive rebounding perspective, significantly better. And then on the offensive glass, obviously, we played really well. Um, we have to shoot more shots than the opponent. And being able to play with a low turnover rate and then get extra possessions the way Boots and Henry and Ethan did on the offensive glass, I thought that was huge in tonight's win. Yeah, kind of piggybacking on that, the three categories that you talked about with turnovers, with rebounding and free throw lines, seemed they all improved. Did uh, I, I know there was – we talked a little bit last week about if you, you felt like maybe the team was rusty heading into TCU. Do you think that extra week of practice helped leading into this game? I, I think the one thing that helps is our staff has been tremendous at making sure that the things that we practice are the things that lead to us winning. And I think we've done a much better job because of the staff's advice. We focus less and less on the opponent. Uh, we were off Sunday, Monday and Tuesday – exclusively 1,000% about us. We were off this Wednesday. Obviously, we traveled here on Thursday, but we didn't even start talking about Oregon State until yesterday. Now, we had subliminally done some things in practice that they didn't realize were Oregon State, but I think that it allowed our guys to play hard. I, I think it allowed our guys to play with less confusion, and I think you could see that no matter who played. We had a lot of really positive minutes, not exclusively from the guys who started, but from every person that played. And I think the three categories that you and I have talked about were significantly better. Um, we didn't have a high turnover rate. So now all of a sudden we have an opportunity to get a shot. We have an opportunity to get fouled and we have an opportunity to get an offensive rebound. And then one other thing that I didn't talk to you that we focused on is on a live ball turnover, what is the field goal percentage of the opponent? And tonight there was uh, a drastic difference when we turned it over and the opponent had an advantage. We gave up zero points off a live ball turnover. I don't know if that'll happen again, but the emphasis and the drills that our staff has implemented, I, I thought that was a key component in tonight's win. Do you think uh, kind of doing the – scouting portion of things later like that do, do you think that's something that might stick moving forward through this season or is that just a, a convenience of how the, the week worked out yeah I, I think what has to happen obviously from this point forward for the most part we're going to play two games a week I, I think the emphasis Travis has to be what is it that we need to do well and are we spending time practicing and talking and showing our guys us because the way that we're going to get better is to focus on us. I'm not using this as justification. It's the first road win many of these guys have ever had. And everything we're doing is a first. And so when we can spend, uh, if it was a pie chart, when we can spend a large portion of that chart on us, I think it allows us to be better. As opposed to uh, less percentage of the chart spending on the opponent and you probably don't get the return you would normally get with an experienced team we're an inexperienced team and we need to stay in a very narrow lane relative to our jobs and how to execute at the best level that we can Buzz what do you take away from the bench uh you, you getting so much productivity from the bench tonight you know, the one thing I told uh, Devin uh, when our guys were warming up, if you look at the numbers, Olin, if we could cut down our turnover rate and get more shots, that would lead to more fouls. That would lead to more offensive rebounding opportunities. If on the other end, when the opponent shoots, whichever five guys are on the floor can be uh, do their job from a defensive rebounding percentage, 
we would have multiple guys averaging double figures. You've asked this. Everybody that covers us has asked this. Is there any separation between one and the 10 guys we're playing, the 11 guys we're playing? Each of them have a different skill. Each of them are different as far as their, quote, game. So they all allow us. How good was four tonight? How good was Henry tonight? I thought it was the best Boots has played. I thought Hassan played with great poise. Dre enters tonight with the least number of turnovers of any perimeter player and leads our team uh, with, with turnovers. That was atypical. But I, I think uh, regardless of who you are, I think we have a lot of weapons. And if we can limit our turnovers and limit the opponent's offensive rebounds, that gives us more possessions. And now all of a sudden we, we have some depth where we can keep coming at you. And I think defensively, I thought relative to what we're trying to do on made shots, on dead balls, on missed shots, I thought we were significantly better tonight. Uh, is Wade starting to break out or? Um... I, just think, I just think four has a really, really high feel for how to play. You got to spend some time with him, uh, but he is incredibly intelligent off the floor. And when you start talking about basketball for somebody that's played 10 college games, he, he's, he's Mensa level in regards to his IQ. And then because he can score three feet past the half court line, he, he's played that way offensively. So he's used to what the defense has given us. And I just think he's doing a really good job. He's doing a really good job, whether he's in the game or not, in timeouts, doing a really good job in practice. He's, he's got big guts, and he's not scared to tell the truth. Uh, everybody loves him. He has a great spirit. But the one thing that's separating him as a leader is very early in his career, he, he has guts to tell the truth. And I think that that's atypical for someone his age. Can a road win like this uh, you know, give your team momentum heading into to the next game? And what do you want to carry yeah. over? Uh, I, I want to carry over all the things that we've been talking about thus far. I, I think in our tenure thus far, I know last year uh, was uh, many things out of our control, but this goes up uh, with the win at Alabama from year one at Auburn in year one, because uh, who helped us win at Alabama and Auburn were guys that had been on the road uh, double digit, high double digit times in their career. A lot of the guys that were very impactful in the game uh, tonight, this was their first road game experience. And uh, anytime you fly over four hours somewhere, it's a long way from uh, where you where you typically uh, spend the night. And so I, I think in many respects, there's so much that we can carry forward. And, and categorically, it's all of the things that we've been talking about thus far. I think it's monumental. Anything else for coach? Yeah, coach, you played a fast, you played a faster paced game uh, tonight. Yeah. Is, is that something we're going to see moving forward with, with the way the guard play has been going? Or was that just because uh, you saw something in Oregon State's transition defense that you wanted to take advantage of? I, uh, Lo, I, I think that we want to play uh, with the pace that you saw tonight. I thought there were a, a home run turnovers. We had uh, three home run turnovers in the first half. Some of that comes from we're trying to play with pace. We're trying to throw it ahead. And then in the second half, I thought we played at the same pace. We played one less possession in the second half, but we only had three turnovers. I think there's a delicate line of we have multiple guards that can play double-digit minutes. We just need to play with a low turnover rate while playing at the pace that we need to play with. Just like you saw tonight, obviously, H playing the largest number of minutes that he's played thus far this year. We can put multiple guys on the floor that can pass, dribble, and shoot. But regardless of who's on the floor, on both sides of the ball, we can't turn it over when we're on offense. And when we're on defense, it'll take all five of us rebounding. We had as many guard rebounds, Logan, tonight in the first half as we did the entire game against TCU. I understand TCU is significantly better on the glass than Oregon State. But the intent of what we were doing was dramatically different. And now all of a sudden, if, if you're playing a miss, 
and you get the defensive rebound, because we have multiple guys that have a license to drive the break, we can play faster. If you're taking the ball out of the net, you're going to be slower. And if you're losing possessions because of a turnover, uh, now all of a sudden they're probably scoring in transition and you're getting the ball out of the net. And all that's going to do is lessen the number of possessions. Anything else? Good to go. All right.